I don't have nothing to say unless I make 3,000 videos. Until I make 3,000 YouTube videos, 3,000 Instagram videos, I have nothing to say. I've been posting for six months and it's been crazy. I know why you're here and you're thinking like, is he famous yet? <laughs> <laughs> to my community. <laughs> but uh, shout out to Larson. Shout out to my girlfriend. So support me out here. You know what I'm saying? In the vibes with posting. But here's what I learned. Number one. Don't even look at the likes. Don't even look at the engagement, the views, because that will disencourage you so much. I'll be looking at the likes like, all right, now. I uh, spent three hours on this video. Let's not have more than more than 50 views today. <laughs> the highest amount of views I have gotten is 600 views. Approximately, it's like 569. And I was like two months ago, y'all. For three, four months, I haven't, haven't had a guy a video to at least a hundred views and that can be so humbling because you see people making like bro for example mr views he's making like 251 million views i'm like god lee and that brings me to the second point you can't be looking at everybody journey i was watching mr beast interview like this weekend he was saying he's literally obsessed with youtube like he spends hours upon hours he spends Every single dollar he makes back to YouTube, he's been making YouTube for 10 plus years. I went to his first video. Like, his first video is like stuff like we're doing right now. Like, it was just like random, very random. No production. And I guess it didn't have likes when he started and views. People just went back and watched them later. Because I'm looking like his first video had 50 bands. Like, sheesh. But I guess compared to 251 million to 50 bands, it's still. And then also, like, Myron Golden, watching him, he was saying, I don't have nothing to say unless I make 3,000 videos. Until I make 3,000 YouTube videos, 3,000 Instagram videos, until I'm like my boy Solomon, I have nothing to say, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, y'all, I'm taking it one day at a time and realizing that I am in a blessed position because I am stepping forward and making steps towards the path. Granted, I don't know where I'm going right now. You ever been like in a dark space? You like, you're like, oh, okay. That's a dollar, you know? Like, I can't see nothing. I'm just, really, it's just a faith walk for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to set your goals. Because in track, you got to end goal. You go to the nationals. And content creation and you know Instagram, YouTube, it's no ink. It's for for me, I really don't see like a oh, there's the Super Bowl. Like people in life, people make like fake award shows, BT, the Grammys and all that to create their Super Bowl, but essentially that's still not a Super Bowl. Like like in this absence to what it make it feel like they try to make it seem like the Super Bowl, but it's nothing like sports in like the Super Bowl, the Olympics. But that's their version of creating that. And that's what I see. I'm like, well, I guess I get to strive for the Grammys or strive for the um, the social media award show, you know? <laughs> and I guess, like, in the field of where I'm at, I'm like, okay, we can do that. It's like, why are you making YouTube videos? Why are you making Instagram videos? Why are you making your business? Why are you doing XYZ? So me, personally, I try to make my goals the biggest as they can be so I don't quit when i ran track like i want to be an olympic champion that's the highest you can do for real in track or when i play football i want to be a, a super bowl champion or at least want to make the nfl and when i was in high school i want to be a d1 athlete whenever i started djing i was like i'm gonna be the best in the world <laughs> little did i know it was gonna take more than just saying that oh my gosh i was at the uh i did my first club set and my friends enjoyed it. I really appreciate them. But it's a professional DJ. They're like, this guy is trash. <laughs> and that's just so crazy because my friends like, oh, yeah, he's killing it right now. And then the pressure, they're like, he's not killing it right now. And me, I'm like, ooh, I'm killing it. And I'm not killing it. So I, I can feel them. I can feel them. And I'm like, it's just amazing how you can just see stuff. And like, and now two months later, I mean, a month later, like, I'm a way better DJ. But I had to go through that to get better. Just like the YouTube videos. If y'all look at my first YouTube video, like 2020, 2020 videos, it was dark in here. It was 
please help me. Was, it was like I was starting the process to make YouTube videos, and I got mad because I wasn't getting views, and I quit. And now here we are, four years later, trying to do it again. Oh my gosh, four years! You know how people be like, "Oh, if you just would have did it, bro, you'd probably be famous." My friend actually told me this like two months ago. He's like, "Bro, you would have kept doing YouTube. You probably would have been famous right now." I'm like, "Thanks." <laughs> <laughs> but I just show you like don't quit that's the next one like don't quit bro like ain't nobody gonna make the videos for you that's why I made it this long I'm like if I quit today nobody could be like all right Jordan I got you dog I'm gonna get a fake mask and we gonna make videos for you like your 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 channel just gonna be dead you're gonna lose subscribers and then you gonna go to work you're gonna realize work is not it you're gonna go try to go back to YouTube then you gotta start you it's probably gonna be worse than when you started because you lost all your momentum then you think you just Expect all the momentum, and then you lost it, and you like, bro, I don't have the same love. So six months of posting is pretty much the longest I ever have posted. You just gotta believe in yourself, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Belief and faith is a powerful thing. Like, you really putting yourself out here every week or how every day, whatever your posting schedule, and you like, I believe people gonna like my videos, but they. Don't like the videos. I realized my videos suck for real. In a sense, like, I'll be looking at my videos like, which video would I watch? And and off the titles, I wouldn't watch them. So I'm like, Jordan, I need to make stuff. Like, I want to I'm make it, but I need to want to watch it. Like, my Instagram videos, I actually like watching the videos. Like, I'll go back and watch my YouTube, my Instagram videos. Like, man, these, this is a good content creator right here. But YouTube, I'm like, mm, sometimes I watch them. I, but I just want to make them more fun. Um, that's why I asked for help, actually. And trusting God, put God first. You know, ask, pray about it. And, you know what I'm saying? Just don't be like, I'm going to do it on my own. Like, man, you better pray, dude. Lord, please let the video go viral. <laughs> <laughs>